Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have this munchkin here today. This is Jem. I swear I can never film on my own without at least one of my pets being here. So if you see a tail or anything, it's Jem. And now Summer's here as well. So if you don't know who I am, I am Francesca and I really hope you like my channel and my videos. If you do, please go ahead and click subscribe and become part of the French Pound family. Also, if you really enjoyed this video, <laughs> don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. So as you can see, I am makeup free for this video. Let me see what I've got to put with. Guys, guys, kind of busy here. Can you both settle down, please? So as you can see, I am makeup free for this video because I thought I'd do a everyday makeup routine. Um, I'm currently getting ready to go out, so just thought why not just make a video showing you all what I do on a daily basis. Now I don't necessarily wear makeup every day. Um, I only wear it when I go out, and that's not a lot because <laughs> that's not a lot because I don't have a life. So, but yeah, I only wear it when I go out or I'm filming. Um, so I just thought I'd show you my everyday makeup routine because I'm loving quite a few products in the minute so I thought I'd make this video like a two-in-one favourite slash my everyday so makeup the first thing I like to start off with is like priming my face getting my face ready for a foundation the first thing I like to do is take the MAC Fix Plus Spray and I just like to spray that all over my face probably going to get all over my hair now and I have to straighten it I then just like to buff that into my skin with a big Real Techniques brush just so my skin absorbs it and it all soaks in. So I'm just gently buffing that into my skin. I'm really sorry if you do hear any background noise, I mean, I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> my gorgeous girls just laid down here. I can never ever film a video on my own these days. But I don't mind because it's so beautiful. So once I've buffed that in, I just like to let that set for a couple of minutes just so my skin like, absorbs all of it and it soaks in nicely. So I'm just going to pat the rest of the excess into my skin and then just let that sit for a while and I should be right back. So once is that once that has all soaked in my, into my skin, why can't I talk today? I like to go on to moisturising and the moisturiser I use is the Clinique Dratton. <laughs> English brand. The dramatically different moisturizing lotion with Evolution Hydratant. <laughs> this is for a very dry to dry combination skin. I actually got this free in the magazine and it's so good so once I put out this I'm definitely going to go buy the full version. So I'll just go ahead and apply this to all of my face. I really should have tried my hair back, but can't be bothered now. <laughs> so I'm just going to rub all of that into my skin. I'm sorry if I can't look at the viewfinder. The viewfinder is legit my mirror at the minute. Um, so yeah, I do apologise about that. So I'm just going to rub all of this into my skin. I have oily to combination skin. Literally, it just depends on the weather for me. Um, mainly, I have oily skin. Sometimes I get quite dry skin, especially on my nose, around my eyes. So this moisturiser works perfect because it's for dry to combination. So again, I'm just going to let that soak into my skin. I think it's really important that you let layers absorb and like take time for it to soak into your skin. I just find that way the foundation lasts a lot longer so I'm just going to let that sit for a few minutes and then I should be right now moving on to primer and I like to use the MAC Prep and Prime Pep and Prime the MAC Prep and Prime primer so I'm just going to take this and apply it to my face <laughs> it with a brush but I think I just roll it today and use my fingers and I wish I hadn't done because it feels nasty. So I'm just going to go back in with that big old Real Techniques brush and I'm just going to buff that all into my skin. Make sure everything is smoothed out nicely. 
while everything is setting into my skin I like to take the baby lips this one is in the uh, well it's called uh, booming rupee I absolutely love these I really want to get more of them they're just so moisturizing and they taste delicious and they smell even better as well so I'm just going to moisturize my lips now next I like to move on to eyebrows and the eyebrow powder that I use is by collection this is the work the color eyebrow kit and this is what shades is it I have no idea what shade this is in uh, this one just has the darker shades it has black brown and then a lighter brown of course I use the black because I naturally have really dark eyebrows and because I got black hair I like to match the hair to the eyebrows firstly just like to take a little spoolie brush and I'm just going to brush through my eyebrows so once all the hairs are brushed in place I like to take a angle brush and some of the black powder and so we can go ahead and do my eyebrows I have no specific way of doing this I like to just fill them in and extend the tail a bit because I have quite a short tail and yeah so let's just go <laughs> whatever's left on the brush and I just work that into the front of my brow for a more gradient look. And that's one eyebrow done. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do the other eyebrow. I really wish I tied my hair back. Oh. I have my Foxy Lux hair extensions in by the way. If you'd like to purchase them I should leave the link down below for you all. It feels really weak ever without music on. I always get rid of music on. Because I'm filming the video, obviously can't play music because it gets copyrighted. So it feels really weird to be getting my day without music on. Um, yeah, because usually by now I'm singing my head off. So moving on. with some eyebrow gel the one that I absolutely love is the Benefit uh, ready set brow and this is just a clear eyebrow gel it's so good I can literally like sleep like my eyebrows still in wake up the next day and it still look pretty darn good so I'm just gonna set my eyebrows with this it's just a little spoolie as well it's really helpful I just like to brush the front up first and then the tail let's like set down now moving on to eyeliner and when I wear makeup I wear winged eyeliner every single time because it's just like my signature look I absolutely love it so the eyeliner I absolutely swear by is the glam eyes uh, professional liquid eyeliner by Rimmel London this is seriously so good Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, oh, I got some burping. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, um, this is seriously so good. Um, I must have repurchased this at least. Seriously, stop it. I must have repurchased this at least ten times. He's honestly so good. I have never found a better eyeliner than this. Um, so let's go ahead and do my eyes. This is going to be really hard to do on camera. Um, so I really hope you can see what I'm doing. Just bear with me. I 
I'm literally not perfect at eyeliner but I do it the way I do it. Someday I'll get better but I like the way I do it. Now the fun part, trying to match that eye up with that eye. It's literally impossible. Now moving on to mascara. And the mascara I've been loving lately is the Colossal Volume Express by Maybelline and this is 100% black. I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my top and bottom lashes. Now moving on to foundation and the one I'm currently using is the Revlon Colour Stay 24 Hour Wear in the shade 110 Ivory. Just like to put a bit on the back of my hand. I do about two pumps, like so. And I've been really into applying my foundation with a beauty blender. I never used to, um, but actually, I always just use it to dry. I always wondered where I'm going wrong. And of course, I actually found out that you're supposed to wet it. I did not know. So I just like to wet mine with the Fix Plus. I just think it helps, really helps like the foundation stick. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray my beauty blender. I absolutely love this foundation. I think it's the perfect shade for me. So I'm just buffing all that into my skin. And I can't see what I'm doing. And then just like to take my Real Techniques stippling brush and further stipple that into my skin. Make sure everything is blended out. Now moving on to concealer, and the concealer I'm currently using is the NYX HT Concealer in the shade 01. Don't actually know how I feel about this at the minute. Some days I like it, some days I don't. Um, it's actually the only concealer that I have at the minute, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it. I'm actually almost out as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this under my eyes first. Just like to do this in a upside down triangle. I also apply this down the centre of my nose. Around the edges. And then on any spots or scarring that I may have. And I just like to blend that in with the pointy end of my beauty blender. This is the Real Techniques Beauty Blender by the way. I refuse to pay, what is it, like £30 for a sponge by the actual Beauty Blender team. Yeah, tight girl on a budget here. Now moving on to bronzer. And I like to use the Sun Glow Bronzer by Avon. And I like to apply this with the contour brush by Real Techniques. Just like to take a bit on a brush. I actually like to use a edge of a palette just to get that sharp crisp line. And I just like to apply this to my temples and forehead. And I just like to contour my jawline. Then for actual contouring, I like to go in with the Maybelline Master Color Contour. In this shade zero 01 light to actually get the contour and highlight but I just like to use the contour this is a cream contour stick so I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to downsides of my nose first in my cheekbones and then my forehead and temples and again, I'm just going to buff it all in using this. And if I know, I just like to use one of these little brushes that I got from Primark. These are like the dupes of the artist's uh, makeup brushes. Go ahead and blend my nose contour in. And then just like to go back in with the NYX concealer. And then just apply that down the sides of my nose up to that line that I've just done. And I'm just going to use that same brush to blend it in. And then I'm just going to go back in with the contour brush and just blend everything together. Now to set everything I like to take the MAC Studio 
pressed powder in the shade medium on a MAC 187 brush. Then let's go in with the Maybelline pressed powder and just use this for my nose, chin and under the eyes and my forehead. Next moving on to highlight and I love the Revolution highlighters. This one is the Baked Highlighter in the shade Pink Light. It's just this gorgeous like a glittery purple pink. And I like to apply my highlighter with the Real Techniques uh, brush. And this is the Angled Highlighter brush. Let's go ahead and apply this to my cheekbones. Down, side, down the centre of my nose. Underneath the arch of my eyebrow. And then my cupid's bow. I then just like to go back in with the Avon Sun Glow Bronzing Powder. And I like to apply this into the creases of my eyes just to bring a bit of warmth to my eyelids. Then I like to go in with a darker bronzing powder and this is the Rimmel bronzing powder the name's like rubbed off and <laughs> this is in the shape Sun Glow. I'm just going to apply that to the previous colour that I've just done. And then I just like to take a white eyeliner by Avon and I'm going to apply this into the inner corners of my eyes. And then lastly, I like to wear a red lip when I do my makeup. I just think it sets off my, my hair and just brings the whole look together. Now I'm literally, literally obsessed with these. These are the 24 hour colour Superstay by Maybelline. And this is in the shade Red Passion. I have lots of these in different shades. They are so good. You literally wear these a night out, wake up the next day, and they're still there. They are amazing. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to my lips. And I absolutely suck at applying lipstick, so don't laugh at me, okay? <laughs> and there we have it. This is my everyday makeup routine. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I shall leave all the products I use in the description down below. So go ahead and check that out. Don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And yeah, I shall see you all next time. Thank you all so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.